Hey guys, two minute time out to discuss AEW Dark. I got a rush because there were a shit ton of matches in this. Action Andretti versus Tony Depp and Must See matchup kicks it off. We had Evil Uno versus Jay Spade. Skippable. We had Parker Bordeaux versus Joe Acasio. Skippable. Fourth match was Sean Dean versus Invictus Cash. It was hard for me to watch Invictus Cash lose. Nothing against the captain. We had Layla Gray versus Sahara Seven. Layla Gray, of course, wins. Skippable match. We had Willie Mack versus Joe Keys. Really solid matchup. I recommend you check this one out. Nice job by both guys. We had Shane Taylor versus Adrian Alanis. Nothing special, but I enjoy seeing Shane Taylor on these AEW shows, so I like this one, but it is skippable, to be honest with you. Lee Morarity. God, I struggle to say that. Versus Very Morales. Very Morales must be four foot ten. I mean, I don't know, unless... Uh, Lee is like seven foot tall. He looked like a child here. Skippable match. Shimura already wins. Uh, Ar Arujan Singh versus Blake Lee. Completely skippable. This match actually bored me. Um, Sky Blue versus Dream Girl Ellie. Your next must-see match here. That's three solid matches on this show, so you can't really put it down. Dream Girl Ellie highly impressed me. I've always been impressed with Sky Blue. Dream Girl Ellie is now on that list as well of people that impress me. Um, Top Light and AR Fox with Matt Seidel. Wrestle the Trust Busters. Look, I like Top Flight, AR Fox, and Seidel. I'm not into the Trust Busters. They bore me. Skippable. The right guys won, though. The good guys win it. We had Jeff Jarrett, Jay Lethal, and Satnam Singh versus Jackson Drake, Jay Malachi, and Oliver Sawyer. Love Jarrett and his crew. It was enjoyable for that reason. If you're not a fan of Jarrett, Lethal, and the Giant, this won't be for you. Peter Avalon, they sort of seem to be pushing him to be a little bit more serious. He beats Dean Alexander in an okay match, but skippable. Uh, Orange Cassidy and Dan Housen in the main event defeat the Work Horsemen. I was annoyed by this. Uh, I have nothing against Cassidy, Dan Housen. I could take or leave. The Work Horsemen needed this more, in my opinion, and should have won here, but they go down on the Ring of Honor set, which was a little bit strange. But that's your two-minute timeout on this week's AEW Dark. Three decent matches. It's up to you if you're going to check it out.